Hello. Thank you so much for joining me today. Happy American Election Day. That's today. This video is going up tomorrow, so you guys know what, who the president is. I would love for you to tell me. I'm dying to know. Who's the president? I don't know. I just got back, back from voting for... So uh, today I am going to react to just some funny European TikToks. These are some of my favorite videos to do. React to these TikToks that I've saved up for like months now. Anytime I see a TikTok that has something to do with Europe or whatever, I save it for this very purpose. So here we go. I get to do it. Um, by the way, talking about the election, to no tomorrow I'm really excited to react to your guy's reaction. You know, depending on who wins. I don't know who won. Guys, who won? I'm very entertained by it. It's all kind of a clown show to me. I just think it's very entertaining. Um, so I'm very excited to react to what your guy's reaction. I'm going to do that using like Reddit threads and news and stuff. I don't know. That's tomorrow though. Today. Okay. These videos. Let's freaking do it. I don't know what this is. It says name a country. By the way, these are all linked down below. I'm guessing this is a stupid American, you know, one of those things. Let's see. I don't know. Name a country. A country. Um, 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 uh, a country, a country, uh, Europe. Name a country that has never been to war. USA or Germany. Name a country. Wait, this guy's not even American. Wait. Germany. Hold on. <laughs> that guy's not American. Oh. This is one of you guys. Where's this guy from? That was hilarious. Yeah, America and Germany. There you go. Never been to war. He must have misunderstood the question, to be honest. I'm going to give him that benefit of the doubt. Because sometimes when I watch these dumbass videos, these videos, not dumbass videos, but videos of dumbass Americans, I'm like giving them some kind of excuse like, there's no way they could have been that stupid. And uh, I think he he probably thought the question was, name a country that has been to war many times, apparently. Okay, this one. POV, that one, Chav. I don't know what that is, but... I know it's like British slang for something. Some kind of person. POV, that one, Chav, in your class. I'm sorry. What? Hold on. Sorry, sir. What are you looking at? It's water. Oh, you could come. Give me some. Sir, he's got gum in the end. Give me an A. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm so confused on what kind of subculture this is. What, sir? I do homework at home. I do makeup here because I'm always late. I'll be quick. I'm I don't even know what to relate this to over here in America. Like, what is this? What am I looking at? Do Why are her lips more pale than her skin? Thank you. I guess this is kind of like Jersey Shore type. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> it's not even my phone. What is it then? Someone else's phone? <laughs> I need to read some comments. The search being real chav is sending me. Yeah, it's from people like me that are like, what the hell is that? What the hell is a chav? British sh chavs should meet American hot Cheeto girls. Oh, God. I don't even know what that is. In America, this was the girl in school... That brought hot Cheetos to class wearing Cookie Monster pajamas <laughs> with a messy bun and 30 minutes late. That must have been after I graduated. I'm too old to know this type of girl. I think hot Cheetos might have not been invented when I was in school. <laughs> My English isn't Englishing. <laughs> Always fails to make me laugh. Wait, why? That was hilarious. Not watching the vid helps. Negative people on the internet, guys. Nothing to see here. What are you looking at? It's what? Uh. 
Uh, Chav is a young person characterized by coarse and brash behavior. Oh. Next. POV America. <laughs> Bathrooms in America. Oh, God. <laughs> Okay, this bathroom, I have to say, it looks divine, you know? If this is the bathroom you, ha you find in America, it's, uh, this is, you know, you should be happy. This is good. It's not super rare, but, you know, it's also not super common to find a bathroom this clean and with a lock that functions that well. I'm like, okay, the lock works, I'm happy. And it's clean. But we're talking about the gaps, aren't we? The gaps under the door. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, you could see that someone was next to her. That's the great thing about American bathrooms, right? You can see everybody who's around you, you know, you see their shoes, so you can be like, oh, that was you in the bathroom. I see, you know, you're wearing Crocs. Wearing purple Crocs. That was you. Have you seen bathrooms in Mexico? No, I have not. We need Bucky's stalls everywhere. I don't know what that is. I think that's a fast food place I don't, I'm not familiar with. That's a nice one. The cracks between the doors are usually bigger. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is a nice bathroom, right? Because not only are there gaps at the bottom, but actually, typically, the crack in the door right here is actually, you know, it can, it can be an inch big. And I, I guess the reason for that is so that you can see if someone's in, in the stall. As stupid as that is, because the whole point of a door and walls is so people can't see you, but they made it here in America to where they're like, you know, you need to be able to see if someone's in there. So they made cracks. Should this roller coaster bridge in London be banned? Oh, yeah. I was excited to watch this one. Roller coaster bridge. I am certainly intrigued. So watch how they're positioning with the I'm pin already going to say no, don't ban it. Because you ban too much stuff, you know, the world isn't fun anymore. In front, if you think the right side's too close, the left is too close, stay just like them. More to you, more. Thank you. Yeah, Wait, yeah. she's doing this there we go. on her driving test? Nice and easy through. That's cruel. They're trying to restrict the size of the vehicles that can go on this bridge. Yeah. Because it can only hold a certain weight. So they don't want like large trucks and lorries and stuff up here. Lorries. And you'll see why in just a minute. I don't even know what a lorry is. I think it's like a double decker bus, <laughs> but I might be way off. I've heard that term a million times and I still don't know what the hell it is. The lorries. Oh, is it? Is it just a semi truck? Oh, wow. Okay. It's kind of boring. I always thought a lorry was like... Anyway. You want to have this? Drive off this. This is scary. <laughs> You've got this. Yeah, it's a little it's bit like of a wiggle. It's like a roller coaster. <laughs> I'm driving my roller coaster. Good. You might need to brake at certain points though, yeah? Don't be afraid of yeah. braking. That's it. More to Be you. afraid of not braking. If you can, a little bit. That's it. And then we're going to be going towards... That wasn't too bad. Is it from here? That looked fun. That looked fun. And honestly... And you'll see... Relatively safe, given these guardrails. I mean, it's not safe from you banging up your car. But as far as, you know, keeping... I don't think anyone's going to die on this bridge. <laughs> so, no, it should not be banned. That's cool. All right, now what do we got here? Oh, the housing industry is a scam. I thought this looked interesting. I thought you guys would actually find this hilarious, potentially, because I think it's got to do with the materials of the house. I'm not sure because I haven't watched it yet, but just being reading the description, you know, it's talking about the materials. You'll see all these two, three, four hundred thousand dollar houses. Now well, here's one. There's one. All right. I want to show you what these son bitches are made out of. See that? 
You can literally see through that right there. Oh my god. Look at this shit. Hold on. It gets better. Okay. Now, behind all those bricks, right there, there's this. Cardboard? What is that? I actually don't know. I don't even know what that is. It looks like basically just cardboard. I ain't shit to it. Y'all want y'all's goddamn homes built out of fucking cardboard? <laughs> we really are the three little pigs over here. With a stick house. Cardboard's not even a stick. <laughs> God damn it. I shouldn't even be showing this to you guys. 200 G's. 200 G's. Now, of course... Cardboard. Of course, the cardboard... <laughs> I'm gonna try to justify this as best I can. The cardboard, of course, is not for structural capabilities. <laughs> oh my god, that's so stupid. Yikes! What happens when you're you get a leak through through your wall? You know, through the roof, and it. It <laughs> destroys all your cardboard. I guess that's there to like hold the insulation in, basically. Oh my god, that's just cheap as shit, guys. I can't even, I have no, I, that's just pathetic. That pisses me off. Because these houses are so damn expensive. Like he said, two, three hundred, three, four hundred thousand dollar houses. That's not even expensive. Like, three hundred thousand dollar house is not even expensive. If these are in certain locations, these would be five, six hundred thousand dollar houses. And they're made out of frickin' cardboard. Obviously, they're framed out of wood. But then they put cardboard on it. Oh my god, I just know the Germans are laughing their ass off. Rightfully so, too. <laughs> I can't even be mad. Um, alright. <laughs> uh, that was very interesting. Those were some great TikToks, well, I must say. Those were really entertaining. <laughs> guys, who's the president? I just want to know, who's the president? You guys are in the future. Hopefully they know by tomorrow. That's the one thing I don't want. I don't want it to be another bullshit. Oh, we don't know who it is. We need to know, guys. Hopefully it's a landslide so that we at least know, you know, for whoever. I just want to know. And I'm very excited to see what you guys have to say about it. You need, either way, I'm excited. All right. I look forward to that tomorrow. I'll see you guys tomorrow.